Hello, I'm Mrs. Balbir. Today my guest is His Excellency Asif Ahmad, British Ambassador to Thailand. And today we're going to do his own very recipe, which is chicken tikka wrapped Thai style on a bed of mango somtang salad. Hi, it's good to see you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Thank you for coming on the show. I hope it's fun as well as easy. Are you ready to cook? Oh yes, I hope you are too. I am so I'll excited over this recipe. <laughs> Shall we start? Yeah, let's do that. Now there's nothing more famous in the UK yes. than chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala. It's yes. British uh, creation. Yes, it's your national cuisine Absolutely. I heard. Absolutely. Yes. But then you know to have something Thai you need something hot and spicy and yes. that's where the somtam comes in. Renowned all over Thailand to really get people's taste buds going. Mm. And then this whole oriental wrap, uh, so many beautiful things come in a wrap and it's easy to make. Yes. But I thought I would explain something that is not so complicated that people are going to be put off. You so, know, we're going to do this in a So it's simple a marriage way. between Thailand and UK. Absolutely. Yeah. Ambassador, let's get started because we need to grill the chicken, am I correct? Sure. Yes, all right. So, chicken tikka. Okay, first you take yes. uh, 400 grams of a chicken breast and just mm -hmm. cube them. Uh, the mm -hmm. shapes don't really matter. You can be quite uh, rough and ready with them too, because Indian food is actually not very complicated. Everybody can cook it at home. Yes, yes. Actually, it's an easy cuisine. It is. Yeah. So, how come chicken tikka masala is so popular in the UK? I'll tell you what happened. Uh, lots of sailors from Bengal and other parts of India went to um, the UK and then mm -hmm. the workers started cooking for themselves. Yes. And a few people from the UK started going to the canteens yes. and saying, you know, this tastes good, looks good, let's, let's try it. So they did. And uh, they basically said, oh, it tastes a bit dry. Oh, okay. You know, curries are supposed to have sauce. So the guy said, what do we do? So they quickly rustled up a bit of sauce with spices, threw it into the chicken tikka. Uh -huh. And that's where the chicken tikka oh. masala was born. Now, what I've done so far is just cubed up the chicken, put yes. some yogurt in it to give it some moisture, a little bit of salt to, to taste, and then uh, lime, lime to, give it, uh, to give it a bit of uh, tang. And I can get this ready-made or you can squash it up yourself. Like I said, the whole thing is simplicity itself. Two tablespoons is probably enough, but you can never go wrong with a bit of extra. And do you put this in right now? Or? Yes, and now oh. this is where you come in. Oh, okay. So how much of this? All of it. <laughs> All of it? All of it. So much. Wow, okay. This is going to be really tasty. Yeah, it should. And it's, uh, it's nice also to get messy when you're cooking. You know? Yeah, that's what real cooking is yeah. all and about. And what I'll do is I'll leave the, all of the messy parts to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, now that you've done the very difficult part, the idea of putting tomatoes in yes. is really in case when you're grilling it or barbecuing it, it yes. gets a bit too dry. Okay. And it's to give it a uh, bit, of, bit of moisture and a bit of life. Now, you know, again, up to you how much you put in, but this looks like the right side of my big little get. Now, now have fun. Yes. Dig your hands in and oh, really give I'm it a. I'm going to wear my gloves. Doesn't that look tasty? It's good enough to eat already. Yes, it? yes. Love and the, the color. And like I said, when you use something ready made like this from Pata, you don't have to worry about you know, putting too much turmeric about it. We're going to put it right now into the oven. Yeah. We're just about to make the som tam right now with his ambassador's recipe. Right, and I'm going to apologize to all Thais watching this, but this is my <laughs> understanding of how som tam is made. But you take uh, green mangoes yes. and then uh, just really indulge yourself in... Okay. in uh, but you could use apple or, or green papaya. Or green papaya, or anything that's crunchy, yeah. that, or yeah. cucumber, whatever comes to hand. Yes. And really be, be as creative as you wish, yes. because it's, it is actually a salad with, with some spices. So what I'm just doing is just adding... Tomatoes, tomatoes yeah. Mixing again, and I'll yeah. give you that. Thing. Thank you, thank you. What about the sugar syrup? Not yet? The, the sugar syrup really just to make sure that uh, it's not too sharp. So you can cheat mm. a little bit and, uh, okay. and if, if it tastes too fiery, it's All always right. nice to give it a, a yeah, touch the... of sugar in it because it gives it a... Sure. So how long have you been here in, in Thailand? I've been here for two years now, but I've been uh, dealing with Thailand for the best part of uh, eight years. Oh. But you know, I first came here when I was only uh, 11 years old oh. uh, with my dad. 
And so he the, was ambassador? He was working in China at the time. Okay. And uh, so this was a great way to sort of yes. my introduction here to, to Thailand. Oh, it looks like oh, it's ready. It looks so good. You can see because it's just yes. uh, oh, round on nice. top. There you nice, go. Nice, nice. So you can use rice paper or fresh spring rolls. Yes, it's better with uh, rice paper because then it's nice and soft to, to the taste. But here, you can, again, it's uh, doing it as you wish to do it. But, mm -hmm. uh, it looks a bit odd, doesn't really matter, but I'm sure it will taste fine. Right. So yeah. the relationships between uh, Thailand and UK goes a long way, doesn't it? Yes, the first um, embassy here was opened in 1875, okay. but I wasn't here then. Okay. <laughs> I started here two years ago. <laughs> but i tell you what really makes our relationship special. Mm -hmm. the, what is special is that it's the people-to-people -people links. You know, mm -hmm. some 850,000 British people come here every year. Mm -hmm. uh, just over 50,000 live here. Um, and then if you look at Thais... That's quite a lot. Yeah, and you know, there are 6,000 Thai students right now studying in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, there are businesses going both ways. You know, the whole thing is a, is a really rich relationship. And look at that. It's beautiful. Even I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> now this next bit is really the presentation part, which is however you want to show, show off the, mm -hmm. the great work that you've done. That's sometime we made earlier. Just. Uh, rests in the middle of the ah. plate like that just to give it a nice resting place and just so then, that people can see what's inside yes, because yes. one of the mysteries of, of a roll is you, you never want to know what's, sure. what's being served so inside to, to present it you, know, you just open it up a little bit like that ah. just take it like that and just make it tempting oh looks a, nice look it. So there it is Smells nice. So what's exciting in your world right now? Well, what I find exciting is what everybody finds exciting in Thailand. Uh, great for the family, great food, great beaches. It's a fun place to live and work. So you like Thailand? Very much so. And I'm sure that uh, many Brits will continue to like Thailand. We like you. <laughs> nice. Ooh. So there the ambassador's go. own recipe. This is chicken Thai wrap on a on bed a of mango sometime. Hope you enjoyed as much as we enjoy cooking it. <laughs>